We're going to get right to questions. We're going to start with Eric Bailey from the Tulsa World, and then we'll go to Joe Bettner. Eric? Hey, Adrian. Um, just wondering, Coach Riley said Saturday that Spencer was uncomfortable in the pocket during the game. As an offensive lineman, how difficult is that to hear from a head coach? Uh, no, it's, 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 it's real hard. You know, we pride ourselves to, you know, it's our job to make sure he's comfortable, make sure he don't feel no type of pressure. And um, like you said, he said he felt pressure, so we take that to heart. And all we could do is just move on to the next week, and we're approaching this week to make sure that's uh, he don't feel that way again. Thanks, Adrian. Joe Bettner, Norman Transcript, and then Jason Kersey. Adrian, how curious how tough it is to maybe build confidence with a unit that you're still trying to, you know, put together, trying to build camaraderie together when there's, you know, penalties and some of that stuff that Kansas State was able to throw at you guys. It's just um, as you look back at the game, how do you guys move forward from this? How do you guys learn from this? Uh, like you say, we learn from it, you know, it's a, it's just a stepping stone for us. Um, we just we we go in we 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 watch the film we watch the the bad things we did we try to correct it you know we did a whole lot of good things on that film that uh we you know that need to be acknowledged you know so we want to keep doing that you know the good things we'll keep doing that good and the things that we need to work on we just go attack that throughout the week and make sure that the stuff that happened you know last game don't happen again thank you jason kersey with the athletic and then ryan aver yeah, Adrian, given, you know, all the experience that you guys had coming back, and I know this is a weird year with a lot of, you know, with COVID and with all the practice that you guys missed, but have you have you been surprised that you guys have had a little bit, bit more trouble maybe than people would have expected, just given all the experience you came, that, that you brought? Um, you're saying more trouble, like, with the, the virus going on? Yeah, or just, like, the, the struggles that you guys had as a unit. Has that surprised you at all that, that you've had those problems? Um, I mean, I, I don't, I don't look at it as surprising. I mean, yeah, you know, there's a lot that's going on in the world today, but, um, you know, this unit, we, we pride ourselves to be together, to stick close to each other. And, you know, the things that, that, that was going on, you know, it, it easily could be fixed. All we got to do is just how we doing right now. We're approaching the week as how it is. We're attacking the week, having a good mindset and having a good mentality. We, it was, you know, shout out to Kansas State. It was, a, you know, a good squad, you know, but that's last week. And now we're going, you know, we're preparing to get ready for another good team at Iowa State this week. Thanks, man. Ryan Aber with the Oklahoman and then James Hale. Yeah, Adrian, sort of along those lines, when you look at uh, the, the first two games, especially Saturday, what's the most disappointing thing to you about the, uh, the way that y'all have played as a group up front? Um, probably, I, I just feel like, you know, you know, my own standpoint, I feel like, you know, we probably just left a lot on the field, you know, left a lot that, you know, as we go back and look at the film, there's a lot of things, you know, we could have did better. You know, there's a lot that we, you know, that we just left on the field, but don't get me wrong. We did, we did a lot of good things also, you know what I mean? We did a lot of good things as a unit that we're going to, you know, keep, you know, striving on to be good at that that level, and you know the things that we we didn't do too good on the er the areas that we didn't do too good. We're gonna, like I said, we go approach this week and we go get better each and every day to make sure we fix that. So as a whole, just you know, we could be a, a great old line. Appreciate it, Adrian. Appreciate you, James Hale with KREF, and then John Hoover. Adrian, uh, you played both left and right tackle in the two games. You played right tackle the entire season last year. How big is that? How big of a challenge has it been to learn the left tackle position as well for you? And are you glad to be back at right tackle where you played so well last year? Um, I mean, it, it's, it's like I said, you know, in numerous uh, interviews, um, I don't look at left and right being, you know, so different, you know, it's just the opposite. Probably, like I said, like, all I had to do is just, you know, it's just a different way I sit, you know, but um, I enjoyed it. I enjoy playing left. I enjoy playing right. I, I enjoy being able to play two different positions to help this team out. Any way I can help this team out, I'm, I'm, I'm glad for it, you know. Uh, was I happy to go back to right? Yes, I was, because, you know, I, 
I was so, you know, used to playing that, like you said last year, you know, I just feel comfortable. But whatever, whatever Coach B, Coach Riley, this team need me to play, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play either if it's left or right. Okay, thanks. Don Hoover with SI Sooners and then Brandon Drum. Hey, Adrian. Um, Coach Riley just got off the, the Zoom here, and he said that uh, all losses suck, and he said they hurt like hell, and he, he talked about how there's not a lot of sleep this week. I wonder if you could describe that from a player's perspective as well. Just do you guys, when the game's over, you go back home or you've or you got some downtime on Sunday or whatever it is, do you guys get around, sit around and talk about the game and how much, you know, challenge it is to to bounce back from that emotionally how difficult it is for you or how can you kind of describe that scene for us um no nah, because Riley, you're definitely right it's it's, it's hard it's hard you know it, it, you don't want to be you know you never want to take a loss especially you know from this program we're not used to losing you know we always used to win it so you know saturday it definitely was tough you know after the game as you know, as an opinion, for, I mean, as a standpoint for me, you know, after the game, I I watched the film, and you know, and like I like you said, it's hard. It was hard watching it, but I had to you know look myself in the mirror and see what I could do, you know, individually to make this team better, and that's what everybody on this team got to do. But we can't. I mean, like like Coach Riley said, college football, like it's it's hard. You know, every game is hard. The Big Twelve, every game is hard. You know, every game is a fight. So. All we could do is, you know, come in Monday. We, you know, we review the tape. We we correct the things that need to be corrected, and we approach it the next week. We can't we can't think about it last week no more. Now we gotta, you know, focus on a good team that we got to play this week in Iowa State and be ready to play. Okay, thank you, Adrian. Thank you, Brandon Drum with OU Insider, and then Keegan Rennell. Adrian, uh, you talked about. You said it sucked. It was hard for you. Uh, the the program's not used to losing like it did on Saturday, and how you have to move on. But how do you, being that it's your second year, third year in the program, how do you get uh, these young guys that uh, have that, that contributed last week to to see that the way that you do and to move forward? Like, how do you, as a a player, uh, experienced guy, get those guys to move forward? Uh, to this next next week and, and not try to dwell on what happened in the past? Um, it, it all starts with the guys that have experience, I feel like, you know. if I feel like if I dwell on the on the game, talk about the game every day, about how we – I can't believe we lost, you know. It, that's not that's not showing a great example for the young guys, you know. This is, you know, for those young guys, that was the first loss they took in college football. And, you know, it wasn't my first loss, so I know how to approach it. I know how to move on from it and get better from it. Like I said, we, as a as an individual, I had to look myself in the mirror and see what I could do to make this team better. And that's, that goes for everybody on this team. You know, everybody that's on this, you know, that's a part of OU football, we all had to look ourselves in the mirror and see what's best for us to move forward. And like I said, for experienced guys, it, it's, it's us to show the way, show the example for these young guys saying, you know, yeah, we lost. It, it, do, it does suck, but we can't dwell on it. we got to move on and, and keep getting better as the year going. Keegan Renault with Sooners Wire and then Kerry Murdoch. Lincoln talked about, you know, offensive line need to be better. I know you've reiterated that as well, but are, are you happy with the performance that you put up on Saturday and how you can build uh, off off what you were able to do against Kansas State? Um, no, nah, I mean, you know, I'm I don't look at it as, as me as an individual player. Of course, like I said, I have things that I need to work on. And um, like I said, I was sick watching the, the tape just for myself because I feel like I left so much on the field that I could have did to contribute to the team. So, like I said, I, I, I don't look just at my performance. Uh, I'm a, you know, I'm a team person first, and I, I'm going to do whatever it takes, you know, so I could, you know, help contribute in this offense and this team as much as I can. So. You know, I'm going to just try to keep getting better each and every day. Thank you. Kerry Murdoch with Sooner Scoop and WWLS and then Dean Blevins. Adrian is uh, one of the bets. Uh, what do you think it meant for Anton to finally get out there uh, and, and play some football after kind of having to sit out and probably being pretty antsy about it uh, going into it? 
Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure he was uh, pretty excited, you know, being able to get out there, get his feet wet, uh, you know, being a freshman. You know, it's very rare you see, uh, uh, you know, a freshman, you know, come in and be able to play on a OU offensive line, you know. So I'm, I'm pretty sure he was, uh, you know, pretty excited to get out there. And, um, and you know, it just being able to, you know, help contribute. And um, I know, you know, seeing the way he approached yesterday practice, today practice, I see that he want to get better. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm really proud of how he went out there. He, I mean, he's a guy that n nobody really knew, you know, until the depth chart came out that, that he was as highly regarded as he was. Can you talk about what you've seen from him since he's come into the program and kind of what's impressed you about him being a young guy? Um, I see that he, you know, I see the way that he approached every day, you know, being a young guy. And, you know, it, it was kind of shocking to me because when I came in, I wasn't like that. I wasn't, you know, I couldn't say I was ready to come in and be able to play a game. You know, I had I had a lot of, you know, everybody's different. I feel like I had to take more steps to be able to be ready to play on Saturday. And um, I feel that he did that. Uh, the way he came in, the way he approached himself, uh, you know, I have, you know, a respect for him, the way that he came and uh, was ready to play. Appreciate it, Adrian. Thank you. Let's go to Dean Blevins with KWTV and then Joey Helmer. Yeah, Adrian, uh, over the past few years, you guys have won a ton of uh, close games. There was always a feeling, whether it's in the press box or stands with, uh, in the stands with fans, that um, the, the touchdown drive that would be needed was going to be there. And you had the veteran leaders, not only the quarterbacks, but uh, other guys. There kind of wasn't that sense with a lot of people, non-players on Saturday. Can you talk about the difference um, between what it has been the last few years, maybe that vibe or um, the huddle and the way people were versus what it was on Saturday? Um, I, don't, I don't really necessarily look at it as, as a big difference. I mean, we, we, we focus on things like this all the time. You know, if it's a situation to a practice, we always focus on two minute, you know, a game winning situation when we go versus the defense. So we we used to it, you know. It is only that, that was different, you know, that we had a crowd in front of us this time. So uh, I, I I just think it is just I feel like it came probably it came early than you know usual, you know. This is but this was the second game for us. So, but we was definitely ready for the moment, you know. We definitely prepared for the moment, you know. We've been through a, a two minute drill. We've been through an overtime drill, you know, all fall camp all you know, anything, like by week, anything. So we was ready for the opportunity. We just need to be able to go out there as a, a group, as a, as a unit, as a, you know, the whole team just need to go out there and approach it differently than what we did Saturday. And Joey Helmer with OU Insider. Yeah, Adrian, Jaquan Bailey for Iowa State set their uh, program sacks record the other day. Uh, just what do you see out of him and, uh, how do you guys plan on kind of limiting his disruptiveness? Um, yeah, he's a, a great player for them. Um, you know, he's been doing it for a couple of years now. Um, all we could do is just go out there, just like I said, attack the week, get better every day, and Saturday comes, it comes.